from the front so that you've got a flat area in which to work with. Yeah, I, I think I've got it. Let's go for it. <laughs> Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. This is the last project that you voted for from my last um, thrift store haul. for 2022 and yeah I'm looking forward to this because I have no idea where to start well I do vaguely to be honest Colin you do vaguely yeah I do um, but I don't know where it's going to take me I've never done anything like this before and um, there's going to be a lot of unpicking so the waistband is going to have to come off well most of it maybe not all of it <laughs> we shall see um, it's several sizes too big for me. I'm a size, for reference, I'm a size 10 to 8, 10 to 8, depending on the type of gar garment. And this is size 20. UK size 20 so there we have it so try and go several sizes up in order to create that wrap over skirt effect fingers crossed I'm not crossing my fingers because we know it's gonna work don't we okay let's get back to this anyway um so yes oh where do I start right so no it's several sizes too big there's belt loops and they, they are going to be tricky because they, belt loops, you only use about, let's see, you know, stitch length of about one or if not, if not 0.5. Um, so that, so that may leave some holes. I may have to cut that down a bit. Um, and we've got belt pockets at the back. So depending on how much I'm taking out, they could be literally <laughs> centimetres and not millimetres apart at the back. But we need to create a lap over to the front and then for the back, because I want to keep as much fabric within this, I'm thinking there's going to be like an inverted pleat. Can I have a box pleat or a vertical pleat? I think uh, an inverted pleat so where do I start I'll start on the back because I think that's going to be the easiest and you're going to remove make sure I remove all of the no I'm not going to remove all of the waistband because I can always put a seam in the back. So I'll probably just remove the waistband from side seam to side seam. And definitely remove the belt loops. And let's start there. Okay, so I need my seam ripper, don't I? So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start here with the belt loops. Can I? All the stitches is so tiny. Yeah, I think I've got it. This is a case of being really gentle. And hopefully there isn't too much damage. No, yeah, there isn't actually. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that on this side. And then instead of unpicking the waistband from side seam to side seam, there's darts here. So I'm going to unpick all of that to this dart here. And then I should be able to, yeah. I'm just trying to, I'm try, I'm just trying to give myself less work. And if that is what I need to do, then that's what I'll do. 
because I'm sure that's what everybody <laughs> wants as well is um, the maximum impact without too much work. Okay, they are now, I've unpicked those. I'm just going to put my seam ripper So I'm keeping these just in case, but I don't think I'll, I'll be needing them because that will, no, I don't think I will. Anyway, they're staying there for now. They're not causing any interference from what I'm going to be doing next. So I've opened up the back and we're going to turn this to the wrong side to see what the crotch is going to be like and how much I've got to play with it in order to create the inverted pleat. Turn the pants to the wrong side. Okay, so just focusing on the back for now. So we've got a back seam. We have a back seam there. So we have to free the inside leg seam yeah we do that don't we we have to unlock yeah all right one minute i'm going to bring the camera up <laughs> this, is, this is at my expense <laughs> so that you can have a look at my face when i'm trying to um work ideas through so at the moment it's like I'm thinking of the vision of the back of the pants and because I want an inverted pleat and remember we are trying to create a skirt here then it is a case of then you do you don't you do need to don't you free the inside leg seams from the front so that you've got a flat area in which to work with yeah I, I think I've got it let's go for it <laughs> I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to upcycle fashion. If you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm also on the Patreon platform where there are three different levels in which you can join. Check the description for links. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so we're keeping the raw edge to the back of the pants, not the raw edge, the finished seam, I should say. Didn't quite get the start of this. I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. Okay, that's done. So I'm at the stage now where it's nice and flat. This is the back crotch line here. And I'm going to, this is where the pockets are. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to create a line to about here or maybe to you no know, to the same level as this crotch line. Let me just get a chalk and a set square. Yeah, I think that should work actually. Let me just chalk that in for now. And then we'll baste and try it on and see what happens.
I don't feel like taking any more in than that. Okay, so I'm going to baste just from there to there for the moment. Let's see. I probably will have to, yeah. Otherwise it's going to be very weird, isn't it? I have to straighten these lines. Um, yeah. I'm just going to draw a straight line here. That bit there may become waste, but we shall see. I'm going to try and include it in see if it looks weird. If it does, then it will come away. It's not a lot. It's not a lot there. Okay, so I'm going to base from there to there and then see what, then try it on and then see what happens. I have finished my basting. Now I'm ready for fitting, but we need to see how this section lies. So I'm working on the back. Right. So this will be the back of the pleat, which is going to be an inverted pleat. I'm just I was going to cut, but I'm just going to show you what you have to work with when you are <laughs> refashioning. See, that's not bad. But I don't think it would lie right, though. I don't have time to experiment with refashioning techniques and how wonderful and weird they can be. Maybe one day. Anyway, we're going for a inverted pleat. Let me just try this on before I cut. So what would happen is that I would sew along here and then sew along here and straight down and then create the inverted pleat. But let me just try it on as it is now so you get an idea of what it looks like before we actually go ahead and sew that technique. Okay, put it on the roll the way inside out. I thought I'd just share this with you so you can have a look to see what it looks like. This is going to be cut away. Um, yeah. So let me just put myself into this. Yeah, that's better. So, it's not no, the sand seems to not coming too far to the front, which is and it feels, it feels good. It feels comfortable. Obviously the pockets are going to be very close together, but that's the new aesthetic when it comes to refashioning. I um, don't know how much of that I'm going to get to the front, but let's turn it to the wrong side. Just thought you may find that of interest to see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so I've got it on the right way and let me just show you the back, the back is what we're focusing on. <laughs> the pockets. It doesn't look too bad, does it? It really doesn't. I mean, you can have a box pleat or pleat, just one knife pleat going either direction. Um, but then that feels comfortable, it feels, it feels good. And the pockets are size soon as here, so they're not too far off from the side. It's not completely a rat skirt, but I do like this. So I think it's just going to be a case of Yeah, just, I'm going to keep the length. It will be a long skirt. Um, 
pack myself in there. That one's good. Pockets go into there. Could sew that up, and then that'd be more of a pleat. See what happens. Whether that's going to be weird. Symmetrical that work. Just no, it won't. Just a tad. Just a little. As you can see there. But it's not bad. I could get away with that by putting a button on the inside, like so. With this, isn't it? Do I want a slate to the front? Mm. Yeah, I kind of like the fact that there's a slit because it's quite long. And where we need, we need high boots. That could work. Yeah, that could work. Right, okay, let's happy with what's happening over there to make sure that they are even, one slightly higher. So to make sure that's on point and then create the inverted pleat at the back and maybe just leave this as it is and just fold that, give it a basing. I think I can get away with it. Yeah. So it's not quite a wrap skirt. I suppose it's really just turning a, an oversized pants into a skirt. That really fits well. And doesn't look too strange. No, I like that. That's fine. Okay, what we do now is I'll sew the back and create the pleats and then work on the front. So this project may not take too long whatsoever. That's nice. That's a nice idea. Okay, so I'm going to cut from the waistband down, leaving a seam allowance. And I'm going to neaten this line here. Oh yeah. Do I need to? I'm going to leave it for the moment. I'm going to focus on sewing this seam. This is the major seam that I need to focus on. So what we need to do next is just to release the waistband I'm going to sew that first some pins so I'm working on the waistband here okay 
and then continue sewing once I've sewn the waistband and it will be a case of then sewing this seam. Just put a pin in there. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. So along here, just a straight stitch and then I'm going to sew the seam, the back seam where the vent is. And then the third row of stitching is going to be along the back seam. My sewing is done for the moment anyway. So I'll show you what I've done. So I've sewn the waistband. So that can be pressed. These seams can be opened flat and pressed. And then this is the raw edge of the waist, which I'll sew into the waistband like so. Once this edge, these edges are overlocked. So that's the first row of stitching. That was the second row of stitching. And the third row was sewing the back seam. So now, I've, now what I need to do is take it to my overlocker and just overlock these raw edges. I know it's quite a big seam, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, and then that is how this box pleat will form. I do have a video tutorial on how to create a box pleat. Now this is this is a box pleat this way around, but on the right side it will be an inverted pleat. Yeah, a inverted pleat is the reverse of a box pleat, and then a box pleat is the reverse of a inverted pleat. <laughs> yeah, sort of like that. <laughs> so what you see here is a box pleat, but um, when I try it on again, you'll see the inverted pleat. Let me just leave it there. Okay, so that is fine, and all I need to do is just hem a little bit of the hemline, and the back will be done. And it's just focusing on the front. So let me just get to overlocking, neatening these seams here, and also along here. And then what I'll do is take it to my sewing machine again, turn it that way, and then I will stitch from there to there and do the same on the opposite side. And then the back will be actually complete and then we just need to focus on the front. I have overlocked the edges, the back seam, and also the pleat as well. That's happening there. And then the next step is for me to sew the waistband back onto the pants. So I'm going to take it, sew from there all the way to there. So I sewed the waistband back onto the back of the skirt, which is now, which is now anyway, it's halfway there. So what I need to do then is, and this is being pressed, I just need to stitch in the ditch, which is a method they've used here, as you can see. So I'm just going to continue that. I do have a video tutorial on how to do that, so I'll link it in the description. I'm going to whip stitch these together so there isn't much movement. Just going to do a quick whip stitch to that. And I press the back pleat and the back seam and also the vent, the vent, the, the inverted pleat. There we go. I've got it out eventually. So as you can see, it's narrowing down because that is following the shape of the pants because as the pants narrows down towards the ankle um, 
this is what is creating that effect so you can get box pleats that, that I usually work with it's usually even all the way down so that's quite interesting and then all I need to do is just hem the bottom so I've got hand stitching there hand stitching there to do hand stitching there and hand stitching there and that is going to be stitching in a ditch okay so I put um, some basting there to hold that that pleats into place and now switched it over to the front okay so this was going to be the issue this section here which I think is just going to be a case of just turn it back isn't it giving it like a facing like a large double fold and stitching it quite deep down here and then it's figuring out the waist okay so i'm going to try it on now so we can figure out the front okay so here we are let me just pin myself into this. Okay, so let's have a look at the back. It's okay, isn't it? There's inverted pleat. So we just need to work on how we're gonna get in and out of the new skirt. See, that looks nice. So I'm gonna keep a, a slit in this yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna keep this but it is possible for you to actually sew it all the way down that is possible so let's say so all that means is that i will be unpicking about here unpicking the stitching and then folding it back to create a nice facing to the inside I'm happy, I'll be happy with that. So that's quite simple. So we just need to work on the waist. Right. That's nice. So, is this going to be a case of just a button and a buttonhole? Can I put... So if I sew... I sew this together and just bring you down inside here. So I'm going to just put that peg there. Okay, so that means I can sew into the waistband that section and then, yeah, I can still get into it. So that means. I'll just sew a, a line of stitching here, fold it back, and then I can still get into it. Yeah, I think I'm done. And I've got this little button on the inside. That'll say button to that. Yeah, I think, I actually think I've cracked it. And then it will stay. Oh, how quick and simple and easy is that? Yes, I like that idea. There's an as asymmetrical look to this because you can tell it's a fly front. And yeah, that's gonna look nice. I think so. And because it's, it's slightly off center, the slit, because the centre front is here, the belly button is there, centre front's there, so it's off, it's off kilter as we say. Yes, I like that. Okay, <laughs> job done. So let's get that sewn and yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be done. Okay, that's quite easy. So all I need to do is just one row of stitching on the waistband and that will stay in position 
I still be able to get in and out by the function of the fly front and fastening to that. It's off kilter a little bit, but that's fine. And then just neatening the front. And then it's done. Yeah, it will be it. The back's all right. It's got a little bit of hand sewing to do. And this has been quite an easy project. Yes, I do like it. It's nice. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go and do the sewing on the waistband and then the sewing to the front and then it will be done. Yes. So I have sewn the waistband. So that's fine. And I also did the sewing in the ditch. Um, did I do any other sewing? No. So let's focus on this slit at the front. Oh, I sewed the back inverted pleat. Okay. So I need to turn it on the wrong side. Nice, I've got this to play with, haven't I? So it's creating a straight line from here to here, I think. There. So if I sewed a straight line from here to here, then I can fold this back twice and then I've got the opening, isn't it? And then I can just cut that section away. Yeah. Okay, let's give that a go. I get my drafting tools that I have. Keep within the stitching of the crotch line and I'll say about there I want to be able to re angle it just a bit because I want a, a good enough turn facing for this side so I'll just Angle it just slightly. Okay. Okay. Right. So can I? I may have to just come in just a little bit there, there, and stitch there. So what I'll do then is I'll stitch from there to this point here. This is where I'll stop and then this is where I'm going to have to do the double fold, aren't I? Yep. I could do it all the way up here, isn't it? So I'm just going to cut away just this bit here for the moment. So now I won't need that. Let's see how this works. Hold it like that. Right, I'm just going to cut along that section there. Because I want as much facing as possible because facing it just stabilises it a bit more. And that's a bit more structure. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's that's nice. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just cut that away. Yep, 
Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Yeah, and then I will be done. I think I should do... If I should top stitch it or sew by hand. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, don't you? You do. I know you do. Because there's no top stitching that's happening apart from that pleat at the back. Which you can't really help anyway. But we shall see. Okay, let me just sew a straight line of stitching here. And then, actually what I'm going to do before I do that, pick our base first and try it on. Yeah, I'm going to base first and try it on. That's what I'm going to do next. Final fitting. That looks nice. I think I may just raise. Yeah, I think I may just have it about here. Just raise it just a little bit. Let me just put a pin in so that I can visually see that. Not a lot. Just there. Just think it just needs a bit more kick room. I'm gonna <laughs> call it rather than yeah. I think it just needs just that little bit more. But no, that's oh, that's lovely. That is gorgeous. Just let it do what it wants to do. And I've got some hand sewing to do, and that is it. I think it's worked out. Yes, I do like that. Yeah, I think it's I think it's on point. Just letting it do what it wants to do. So you know what I'm gonna say, don't you? You do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Apart from the hand sewing, you know what else I'm gonna say. Yeah. My outfits of the week. This is where I'll style it for you and show you what I'm going to wear with it. So yeah. So I've just got some sewing to do, a little bit of machine sewing, and also hand sewing. Wow, that was not too much work, which I'm so happy about. Um, it feels it feels gorgeous actually. It stands away from my body a little bit, and that has more to do with the fabric. Um, and it's a good result. I do like it. I, I actually more than like it, actually. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I really do not know what to say. I find this is happening quite a bit on all my videos. I do these be fashion projects. Um, it's, I like it. I actually love it. It's nice. It's an easy project. So if you are inspired, then please do tag me because I'd love to see what you do. Um, I think the front, the back, there's going to be no problems. I can't see any problems that's happening with the back. Even with the inverted pleat, as it narrows down like that, um, just an interest, it, it's just an interesting more than what I'm used to doing when I did um, an inverted pleat. It was always the same width all the way down. So that's quite interesting. And the fact that I'm allowing the front to do what it wants to do it's probably the best thing because it's a new aesthetic to upcycling fashion and you've got to allow for that you've got to give it an opportunity to do what it needs to do and I think that's exciting I really do so even though I feel as though I want to straighten this <laughs> at the front because that's what I've always done in the past because I've always designed from scratch. Um, this is interesting. And that's what I like about refashioning at the moment. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I think hiring it just a bit, just a little bit, I think is probably the best option. And yeah, you guessed it. I've got a lot of hand, well, I haven't got a lot of hand sewing to do, have I? Because I've just got to do the pockets and a little bit of the hem. And I'm going to hand sew the front yeah, I'm going to hand sew the front, even though there's a little bit of top stitching at the back with the inverted pleat. Um, I want to top, 
no, I don't. I don't want to top stitch. I want to hand sew that into place, and then I was actually thinking as well, maybe putting some interfacing. So if you do put interfacing within that area, just make sure it's as light as possible. I'm not going to do that, but it is possible. There is an option. Um, I'm just going to let it do what it needs to do, and I think that's what I'm liking with a lot of my fashion really fashion projects is that. I'm allowing certain parts of the garment to still be in control of how it originally wants to be. Yeah, I think that's right, is it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think about any of the refashion projects that you've done and whether you feel as though you want to have a little bit more control because the aesthetics isn't looking the way we are programmed for garments to look. But no, I'm happy. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and under the like button is the subscribe button do click that because it really will help my um, channel to grow do share this video and please leave a comment below and like i said if you do any of my um upcycle fashion projects then do tag me because i'd love to see what you are also creating with the help of my videos so yeah until the next one and um, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time